Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Blair. Um, I'm gonna just do kind of a weekend in my life um, and show you what I'm getting up to. Um, it's like 8.30. I'm just waiting for my sister-in-law to get here. We're gonna go do a Trader Joe's run and pick up some coffee on the way. Um, so far this morning, I've just stripped the bed so I could wash sheets and that's pretty much it. I will say I did find out that my ankle was sprained, which is um, unfortunate. So I did go and have it taped. Well, I've been taping it myself with some KT tape and um, just resting it as much as possible. Yesterday I was able to mow the yard finally, so that's good. It doesn't seem to be sore, so I think we're on the mends. So hopefully tomorrow I can actually go for a walk. But I will try to get some clips while we're at Trader Joe's and then I'll show you what I got when I get back. All right, I'm back from Trader Joe's. I didn't get any clips, sorry. Actually, let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna just share what I got. I'm gonna try to do the cold stuff first so I can put it away because yeah, I got ice cream and things in here. So first off, always Trader Joe's get flowers. These are peony double tulips. That they'll be pretty. <laughs> and then for other cold stuff, um, I got the La Cologne Triple Shot Draft Latte to try. I got some mushrooms because those sounded good for the grill this weekend. Um, got some mushroom risotto, which I've never had risotto, but I keep seeing this pop up on different things and I want to try it. So I thought I'd get some. Um, unexpected cheddar cheese, just a good thing to have. And then I do like, I'm like obsessed with chicken sausage lately. So I got the spicy jalapeno, roasted garlic, and sweet apple. Always good to throw in the freezer and just have for random meals. Can't go to Trader Joe's without some mandarin orange chicken. Definitely a staple to have in the freezer. Same thing with this jasmine rice. I don't, I make a lot of white rice all the time, but these jasmine rice are great when I want to make the orange chicken on a fly for a meal. Um, they didn't have these last time, so I was able to pick them up this time. Got some chicken spring rolls to go with the orange chicken. Now I've seen Hold the Co and I've bought them before, but this one is coffee bean flavored. This is new, I've never seen that. So excited to have that. And I believe that's all the cold stuff. So I'm gonna put this stuff away because my Trader Joe's is further away and it's already thawing. So other things I got, uh, the rest is kind of more treats and then some staples, but I've heard these talked up a lot, dark chocolate honey mints. So I thought I'd try that. Um, I love dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Unfortunately, when you buy them in the container, I tend to eat them all. They're just addictive. So I bought a little more controlled pack. And then the Coffee Lover Espresso Beans for a treat as well. I've heard these talked about a lot. They're called Fruise Balls. I guess they're like a protein ball. Um, oh, that makes me sad. I meant to get a peanut butter and jelly and the chocolate hazelnut, but I ended up with two of these. So hopefully they're good. Um, ABC bars, I just like having these in the cupboard for a snack. And then of course, gotta have olive oil and theirs are the best price and it comes in a glass jar. I don't know if anybody else finds this, but like when I buy olive oil in the plastic jars, they just, I don't know, it tastes funny to me. So I like the glass ones. And then the second bag here, um, I got reduced guilt pita chips with sea salts. Um, I wanted to try these. They're the everything ciabatta rolls. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with them. If I'll make a sandwich or like a grilled cheese, maybe use them with a burger from the grill, maybe like as a bun. Um, had to get these again, the chili lime tortilla chips, just addictive in their own right. I've heard a lot of people talk about these, so I wanted to get them, but they're the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Again, I don't keep a ton of snacks in the house, so when I go to Trader Joe's, I always like to buy some of those things. 
I also got one of these instant ramen. It looks like it's much better ingredients and way less sodium than the traditional, so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, again, staple, maple syrup for granola, overnight oats, all that stuff. And in this I've seen pop up recently, it's a Cuban style citrusy garlic seasoning blend. Um, I just thought that might be really good on like pork on the grill. So thought I'd give it a try. And so far Trader Joe's seasonings have not let me down. So, all right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. Before the cruel heavens above, so to take you away, cause I ain't the same without your taste, your loving touch. We've been making a way later um, I spent some time on the phone with my grandma and now I'm gonna make some lunch we're gonna experiment <laughs> I'm gonna try to use these everything ciabatta rolls and some of that unexpected cheddar and kind of do like a grilled cheese in a way and then I can top it with some tomatoes and then maybe have some of the chili lime uh, tortilla, tortilla chips but let's get the broiler going and then we'll see how this comes out. We used to dive on into flashing lights and hotel rooms. Let the music take us down the streets we walked on through. Remember holding my breath, honey, couldn't forget there was nothing I could do. All my heart was racing as we made our way up through the city lights around us. You were my back holding your shoes, and I took it all in. So it's quite a few hours later. I've just been chilling watching some YouTube and this is gonna be a very uneventful Saturday. Um, trying to just rest my ankle as much as I can in between doing stuff. But I think I'm gonna try to do a little bit of meal prep for this week. Um, really, I think the only thing I'm gonna put together today is my tuna pasta. Um, so I'll kind of show you that as I do it. Everything else I probably won't make until tomorrow because I'm hoping to get the grill out and maybe grill some veggies and burgers to have for a couple of dinners. Got a little bit of meal prep done. Dishes are done. I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit, take the dog outside. And then I don't know what else we're gonna do. <laughs>
Okay, it's about 8 o'clock. I just ran to Food Lion real quick to grab a couple things that I needed for this week and tomorrow. So I'll just show you a quick <laughs> Food Lion grocery haul. So I just grabbed a little bit more eggs. So I have those for breakfast this week. Um, a tomato for tomorrow. Um, some strawberries and blueberries for breakfast. It just sounded good. And then just a couple of zucchinis also for tomorrow and a few meals this week. So I'm just gonna finish off this Saturday here. slow start today I was up a little too late on the phone so I didn't get up until like almost seven o'clock which is way later for me um, but as you saw I had some breakfast I've taken my shower at this point and then I also started to prepare my cold coffee for the week so I'm gonna go ahead and put lids on those and get those in the fridge so they can cool down even further and then getting ready for church because that'll be next preach fast but I want to give you this word Luke chapter 4 I want to preach lock and key today lock and key um, you ever had a you ever had a lock without a key come on where my where are my people that have been locked out of their locked out of their car wave at me off and took another nap <laughs> I don't know what's going on I don't typically take naps like this this is just not normal but obviously my body needed it so I needed to go with it 
now that I'm awake, I'm gonna prep some vegetables. Some of these are gonna be cooked for dinner. Um, I got the vegetables prepped, the kitchen's cleaned, trash was taken out, and I have the last load of laundry in the dryer. Uh, the only thing really left on my agenda tonight is to make dinner and then run the dishwasher. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the Sunday portion of the vlog off. I shouldn't say a Sunday portion. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing a glimpse into a full weekend um, for with me. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. Mm -hmm.